cockfight. How about that? Are you proud of me now, Mom? This bout is scheduled for one three-minute round of cockfight sumo wrestling. The cockfighter with the most knockdowns following three minutes is your winner. All right, you guys. Time to bring out our competitors. Cock fighting in the red corner, in the place of the Reverend El Pollo Fuego and the Red Mawashi, at a height of six feet one inch, trained in the art of holistic judo from Federal Way, Washington, Nick El Pollo. inches, trained in the art of negligent disdain, originally from Bellingham and now fighting out of Seattle, Washington, Ben El All right, now both of tonight's contenders have to get into their sumo suits. As you can see with the cockfight mask, they're not going to be able to see so this should be nice and entertaining. This is a spectacle, Dan. I mean, this is, this is what fighting is all about. I'm not sure whether my sports casting career is at an all-time high or low right now. <laughs> I think low, Dan. All right. You heard the lady. Person who falls down the most is a loser. Although I can't imagine either one of you feel like a winner right now. Falls, Dan. Two falls. Yeah, I don't know who's who. Which cock is which? Uh, so Mono Nick El Pollo is in the red trunks and Ben the Psycho Muppet in the blue thong. Yeah. So far, uh, Ben El Pollo Loco is dominating. All right, this is a close one. One takedown. This is quite the girthy, colossal cockfight, I must one say. Fall down. Which one? Come on, Nick. Come on, Mono Nick. Come on! Knock his ass down, Nick! Oh! oh down two goes to one. Nick! Two to one in favor of Nick! El Pollo Nico! Oh, first round! First round! I'll tell you what, it seems, Dan and Jolene, that Nick is employing the avoidance maneuver, which is causing the takedowns. Uh, and ladies and gentlemen, the lovely Martine, our ring card girl. Give it up for Martine. Now, now that's a thong. Once again in the blue, Ben El Pollo Loco in the red, Nick El Pollo Mano. for Mono Nick. He's unstoppable. I thought Ben got one, dude. I thought Ben got one. That's <laughs> yeah, three to one, Jolene. Three to one. <laughs> That's I why I don't do ben, sports. <laughs> but I'll tell you what. He's no match for all... Oh! Got the mean look. 
They both look very spent. I, I don't know how Ben in the blue can come back. They've easily lost probably five pounds each right now in these sumo suits. Nick's having a hard time breathing through the old beak right now. Oh, definitely. Also, I think Nick's extracurricular activities involving inhaling foreign substances from British Columbia is affecting his performance, but still he's on top. It's 420, 24-7 with this young man. Give it up for the lovely Danae, our ring card girl, Danae. Game on! Make it oh. count! Oh, Both nice. of your girlfriends are in the audience, man. You guys don't want to look like, like losers. Ben. Oh, Ben is going all out. Wow. But He's fighting. This, Nick is lining it up, though. You can see he's just waiting for Ben to overcommit. So we can just push him back. Come on, you guys, help him out. It's a great strategy. Come on. Getting tired. Oh, oh he that just can't come hurt. back from that. <laughs> he cannot come back. Like Down that. goes Muppet. Oh, this could be, uh, this could be serious. Is he dead? Guys, your winner in the colossal cockfight. Nick, congratulations! You are the most colossal cock of them all. Anybody you would like to thank? Anybody you would like to uh, say hello to right now? Uh, you know, I'd just like to say, thanks to Ben for putting on a great fight. That was for him, and was I got a, blast. a beer yeah. because he he's hot in these beer. things. Right. And I figure he knew All right, your winner of the Colossal Cockfight, Nick Del Pollo Mano. A brief word with, well, a brief word with tonight's loser, Ben El Pollo Loco. Uh, what can I say? Nick makes a better fat man than me. Oh, and there you have it. One more big round of applause for both of our contenders. They're dying. Wow, Dan, these, uh, these guys really did get quite exhausted and probably lost serious weight in those costumes. Absolutely.